Keely and today I am going to be talking about my experience at the Nordic Spa. And sorry I'm all hunched over, my good camera like ran out of battery and I was too lazy to put a new one in. So we're just going to film it on my phone. And the stupid hair keeps coming out and by the way I cut my hair out. So let's get all the goodies out of the way. Um, it was super exciting getting, like my sister invited me to Nordic Spa. I don't know if you guys know what it is or in your area you have one. Um, I live in Ontario so we have to go to Quebec to go to the Nordic Spa. But that's only like 40 minute drive from my house. Um, so what you do when you go to Nordic Spa is kind of like you can pick different packages and pick different things that you want to do. So I would never been before. We went with my, I went with my sister and her boyfriend's sister. And um, they had both been before I think. So I was super new, I didn't know what to do. We went at nighttime in like January, so it was really cold outside, especially in Canada, it was really cold outside. Um, and what you do is you just bring, you know, like a little bag with a bathing suit, um, change the clothes, that kind of thing. It's not one of those places where you know you need to like dress up, you need to wear makeup, nothing, nothing like that. So we get in, so if you can hear things, my cats are literally having a moment over there, like knocking over things, so that's what it is. Um, so we get there and I'll try and insert pictures at the end if I still have them um, of like how it was because I went obviously like a few months ago but I'm going to go again soon so I was like why not make an experience video about it in case any of you guys are interested in going and um, it might help some of you guys out if you just like don't know what to expect. Um, so we drive up and it's super like remote area, there's big beautiful trees everywhere, um, it's kind of like on these like log steps like rock kind of steps, I don't know how to explain it. It's like up on these steps, there's little like lanterns on, on your way up the path. Um, and then you see like this big, beautiful, like wood cabin looking building, it says Nordic on it. It's kind of long, um, it's like really peaceful looking, you know what I mean? Like it, it's like a getaway, you know what I mean? Like if you work a lot, you're really stressed out, you just want to relax, you would go to like the Nordic spa. I'm not a spa person, <laughs> like that's not what I like, I don't like being touched, I don't like, you know, like relaxing. <laughs> I have anxiety, but I don't like relaxing. Go figure. Hey, there's one of the cats. Um, so we get in and there was like a really long line kind of thing going on because I guess it's really busy all the time. But we went and it was like dead. So um, you go to the op, like the little desk and they ask you like what kind of package you want to do and we just wanted to do like the baths, baths I guess. So um, I don't know, it's not cheap. I think it's it was like $50 if you're going on a weeknight. I'm oh, cleaning his toes. Um, it's I think it's almost 70 if you go on like a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. So we went on like a Thursday or something. So it's like 50 bucks, um, and you pay extra if you want a house coat. I know that's kind of weird, but you have to pay extra to get a house coat because you kind of need a house coat. Um, they're really nice house coats, good quality. <laughs> so um, they give you also like a little like wristband um, with your number on it. So you have like a little locker in the woman's change room or men's if you go in that one, um, in the change room, so you just like kind of press your wrist up against the the locker number you have, and it opens, so you can go in the pools, you can sweat in it and everything like that, and it'll still open. So um, you put your bathing suit on in the change room, take all my makeup off, put my hair on like a bun or a pony, um, and then keep your bracelet on, obviously, put all your goodies away in the locker, and you put your house coat on, and um, bring flip-flops, you know what I mean, because it's, it's a lot easier, so it's not cold on your feet, you're not slipping and sliding and doing crazy things. Especially if you're like a germaphobe. <laughs> um, and then we, it was really cold outside. Really cold, just to say that. Um, you bring a water too, just because in case you're going in the sauna, stuff like that, you're gonna get really thirsty. Like you're gonna lose a lot of like water in your body or something. So uh, first off, like my sister's boyfriend's sister knew what she was doing. Like she was the one we were all following, we were following what she was doing, because um, she'd been there before. So first we went to the sauna. And as if you guys know me, you know I sweat on the daily. I could sweat in the middle of the winter in like a tank top, you know what I mean? Like I just sweat a lot. So going in the sauna I was like, mm. like really? I, this is a high school all over again. So we went to sauna for I think about like five minutes. It's supposed to like open your pores, relaxing. Um, you walk in, there's all those like, you know, little like wooden platforms you can like lie on. You're supposed to relax. Everything's supposed to just like come out of you <laughs> and it opens your pores. So like when you're doing all the other stuff, Apparently it's good for, your, for you. I don't know how, because I was like sweating to death. So after we did that, um, like you hang your little house coat on like a little rack outside of the sauna. So you know, get your water bottle, get your house coat, then you put it on, walk over to the next thing after you go to the sauna. Um, we were really, really hot, so we walked, we jumped into this kind of like regular temperature pool just to like cool off and like not die. And then after that you can walk um, 
down these little paths. Like they have a bunch of little paths. Like some of them you can sit in like a little hammock, um, like outside, or some of them you can go inside and just like read or something like that. So we went over next to the next one, which was a, kind of like a hot pool. It was kind of like a big hot tub. Um, it was like under like a little waterfall, and there's like little benches in the pool, so you can just kind of like sit there and relax. Um, and this kind of place is where you don't talk, like you have no phones, that kind of thing. So like there's actually signs saying like no talking. So, don't talk. Um, of course, same thing again, outside there's these little like racks you can put your house coat on and your water bottle in. So we went to the hot pool. We're just kind of sitting around, fucking around in there <laughs> a little bit. Like I was trying to do somersaults and decrease things because I can't be quiet, I can't just like sit still. So we're doing that. And then um, my sister's boyfriend's sister was like, oh my god, let's go in like the really cold pool. It's like a couple steps up from where we were and it's like literally like this waterfall shooting water down into this little kind of like a basin almost. It was like a really small like tub <laughs> so apparently I think it's like negative zero degrees or something and it's supposed to be like a good shock to your body from going warm to cold I was like screw it I'll try it out so um <laughs> we like quickly run up the steps and it's really cold outside too right so I'm like not expecting it to be as cold as it was in that like little pool it was freaking freezing so I like run and quickly put my head under and I'm like swearing as I like run outside run back into the little warm pool and then like relax it's supposed to be good for your body like I'm not too sure but it's supposed to be like relaxing it's supposed to like give you good shocks and bad shocks and I don't know so we did that a couple more times just to like have fun and kind of like be crazy and you know it's just kind of supposed to do it so we did that after um we were done in like the little warm pool we put our house goes back on it kind of sucked because like after you were wet and cold um like the first time going out of the first pool and putting that house go back on it's really cold and really wet so it's kind of like putting a wet cold towel on it was not fun um but you know you're just putting your hood on since it's really cold so you're like waddling over the next thing the next thing she wanted to do was um like there's this little kind of like cabin and it's kind of see-through but you can't really see in if that makes any sense um there's like lights on going on like soft lighting there's really soft music like relaxing music going on inside there's little hammocks um like big wooden chairs and like little bean bags so that place is kind of like to soothe and like just kind of take like a relaxation nap almost my sister fell asleep in like two seconds in there um so like it's nice and warm they also have kind of like those heating lights in there like heat lamps so you know you just sit there and you kind of just like relax and you close your eyes and it's it's nice after like you've done shocking temperatures to your body to go and relax in like a nice little heated room um it was super fun i saw a girl on her phone in there and i was like what's the what's the point of coming to a relaxing place if you're gonna be on your phone but who knows like that's someone else um so yeah, that was really awesome, getting to like warm up in that little room, um, it's relaxing, like we're just looking at each other, like laughing, my sister especially, because she's, she's sleeping. Um, and then we were in, I don't know how long we were in there for, but it felt like almost like 20 minutes. And then um, we got out, and we didn't do another like round of what we did before, it was pretty late, so the last thing that they had there was like this 10 minute extreme like sauna thing going on, so like... I don't know if it was like 9 o'clock at night, but everyone, I guess, that was at Nordic Spa or Nordique um, was like ready to go to that 9 o'clock like extreme heat sauna thing. So it's supposed to be open your pores, it's supposed to let like the scents that were going in like in your pores, it's supposed to be good for your skin and good for your body and good for your aura and that kind of stuff. So I'm like 10 minutes sauna, I might actually die in there. So I was like, screw it, let's try it. And um, it was packed. Like we got there at 9, but it was already packed in the sauna. So there's like three levels of like things to go up and you take a little blanket or a little towel and you sit on it, you're kind of just like waiting. And the girl's like, okay, um, you can't leave like once you get in here. And I'm like, ah! or you knew and you can leave, but you can't come back in. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's like this little tiny girl and she's wearing like a little bikini top and like shorts, I think. And then she puts, you know, those like, what is that sound? The children upstairs. Um, <laughs> She puts like this really hot, like hot water on the like, hot stone. So it like, makes the air thicker oh my god I was gonna die I was like oh my god I have to leave but I can't come back in so it was really freaking hot like if you can't do thick air if you get anxious very easily like you might not be able to do this um I get anxious very easily so like I was chilling there and I was like oh my god I'm gonna barf I'm gonna pass out I'm gonna die because she just kept adding like more hot things and then like I mean water to like the hot stones to make the air thicker and then she put like scents in so it was like peppermint 
lavender um so the air was like even thicker <laughs> and she was doing this cool like wave around the towel like i can't even explain it to you her hair was like up to here but it was down and she must have been sweating she must have been herself like 180 degrees like body temperature because it was so hot and she was like dancing and like trying to waft the air around with like a towel and i'm just looking at her like <laughs> like how are you not dying um but the peppermint one or like I think it's peppermint. It was so strong that like I almost <laughs> I almost died. It was like the last five minutes and I'm like, girl, you could do this, girl, you could do this. Everyone else is like like super hippie and they have their legs crossed and they're like doing like an ohm thing and they're chilling, like being one with their bodies. And I'm here like, girl, get me out of my body. I'm sweating to death. So I'm looking at my sister and we're all like, oh my god. We're like sweating and like it's this big as a sweat just like dripping down. It's like so gross. And I'm like, how is this like supposed to be enjoyment? But I was like, you know what? Screw it. You can do this. Let's keep doing it. I want to tell people that I stayed in a sauna for 10 minutes when it was like 400 degrees inside. It wasn't just 180 now. It was like 400. They are playing music in there, but it was like weird, like modern music. It was like Adele's Hello came on. Um, like Hey There Delilah. It was this weird, you think a spa would have just like relaxing music? No, it was like modern stuff, which is kind of weird, but I kind of liked it. And it was in Quebec, so everyone was speaking French, and I was just like, kind of like, eh. But they were laughing at some points. So it was kind of weird. Um, but yeah, after that sauna... I finally made it out, and I was just, like, sticking my head in the pool, like, the, the cooler pool, just because, like, oh, I was, like, on fire. Um, so it was nice to, like, drink a bunch of water after that, um, like, replenish all the water that I lost, sweating to death. Um, and then, yeah, it was, that's basically, like, the end of the day, like, for them at least. Um, I don't know what I just did with my hair, because I think I ruined it. Short hair, don't care. Um... So yeah, after I, we, well, we did that really hot sauna, that was all that, like, we could do left, really. Like, we did everything else, and that was kind of, like, the last hurrah, everything else was closed after that, I think. Um, it was so hard. <laughs> Just thinking back to, like, that sauna, hell on earth. But, you know, it's good for you, whatever. I was really relaxed when I came home, so I'm happy about that. You can't keep the house coats. Oh my god, I heard something glass just knock over. I'll get it later. Um, it was really, like, kind of sucked that you can't keep the house coats. And the house coats cost you, like, $10 to rent. But maybe one day I'll take one. Just kidding. But, yeah. Um, I got home. It was, like, an hour or whatever ride back in the car. And I was just relaxed. Like, I think I even took a nap. It just, I guess, like, overall, it was very peaceful. It was very nice to, like, you know, go somewhere kind of, what's it called, like, re like reserved just for being, like, stress-free, because I'm, I'm always stressed out. I stress out so much, I get psoriasis on my hands. Like, I don't really know how to deal with my own stress. I take anxiety medication. It keeps me, you know, level, but sometimes I'll still get anxious about stupid things, and then that still gets to me, but, like, I try my hardest to just, you know, be like, you know what, this won't affect you. This is not the hardest thing in life, girl. Like, you can get over it. So I just kind of push things under the rug now. I'm kind of just like, ugh, I'm not even under the rug. I push it over the rug. I throw the rug. I'm like, screw this. I'm better than this. I can deal with it on my own. So it was just super nice to do it. Um, we'll be going back again soon, as I said. So I'm really excited. This time I'm bringing my boyfriend, <laughs> Bailey. If you know him, you'll die laughing. Um, just because my sister... Because he said he'd only come if my sister's boyfriend went. And my sister's boyfriend's like, okay. So Bailey's like, crap. But yeah, we're all going to go. Um, so hopefully we'll have fun. <laughs> and I don't know. I'm just like already getting stressed out about the sauna. But yeah, if you guys have ever gone to like a spa or you like something like this, you know what I'm talking about. Um, well, more of like a remote spa somewhere like you have to drive to. And it's middle of nowhere kind of thing. It's it's remote. It's on its own. That's all they have there is just to relax. Um, if you haven't, try it out. I don't know where you guys live. But if you live in Canada, I know we at least we have a Nordic in Quebec. Um, who knows where else? I'm not really sure. But at least try it out one time. You know, spend that money. Get relaxed for the next like week and you'll be good to go. So if you guys enjoyed this kind of like weird my experience at Nordic, um, yeah, it was really cool. Something I've never done before, something I didn't know I would ever want to do again, <laughs> but uh, why not, you know, things you gotta do in life. So please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my beautiful channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!